because I'm wrong with responding. Mm. But politically, for what I represent, what I stand for, and what my movement and my cause is up against, I'm wrong for publicly speaking against Paro. Mm. And not to say he's the face of Paro, but he is a strong representation of Paro for the, the things he has achieved, right? So I shouldn't contribute to tearing down what that stood for mm. on some real shit. So I think I've been a little too over vocal about it, and I'm going to chill out and relax. Even if he does some bullshit, I'm going to ignore it. And hopefully when he hears this, because he knows me. Like, one thing about me and Suge, we know each other. You know how me and you didn't got to know each other? Like, I feel I know Adam. I think you know me, right? Mm -hmm. So we know each other. We didn't spend hours driving places day in, day out, moving around, conducting business. And he knows when I get into this frame of mind, like, kind of where I'm at. So, like, that's probably one person that I can say I probably, I went too far with it and that was because of the cause in which we stand for and represent. Regardless of what he say, I'm supposed to put P Funk first and, and acknowledge the fact that that taken away from him is taken away from that because ultimately that's what he represents. Okay. Yeah. He said this on the Whackin', Whackin Adam show. Just admit it, dog. You are scared. Because what for years, y'all been talking mad shit. About Suge Knight. Because he wasn't able to speak. Yeah, he he was quiet for 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. He just recently started speaking. He, he'll he throw some phone conversations out here and there on Bomb First. But now, he's officially talking. They'll lend his voice probably for a documentary here and there. But he's talking now. He's talking about current events. He's talking about what's going on within the industry. And WAC 100 is shook. Because Suge got a lot of dirt on these niggas. Especially a lot of his friends in the industry. That's why a lot of these guys are moving in pins and needles. Because I just found it funny how... Dude, you were disrespecting Suge for years. And that's because he couldn't say anything. Now he's talking. You want to apologize now. Now, because now, yeah... He got privileges to speak now. And he's turning the, the industry upside down with this podcast. So that's why he's really apologizing. He's trying to wave the white flag because if things start coming out about his peers, he's going to feel he's going to be held reliable. Suge might leak tapes or leak conversations that he had with Wack talking shit about game. He might say some stuff like, yeah, check this out. Now, you know, whack, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whack and game, they have, they have a relationship. And, you know, not like me and pop, but game and whack kind of got a relationship. Now, I remember whack told me that he got the tape where he, game got knocked out at the Fox Hill Mall. And he said, on Pyru, I'm not going to put that tape out, but if gang get out of line, the tape is going out. I bet it's some stuff like that. He whack learned from Suge about the blackmailing game, so that could be possibility. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe, hit the like button. Peace.